Then they sent me to uh, Sebring, Florida, Hendricks Field. And at Sebring, we went through uh, B-17 pilot training. It's a very stable aircraft, very stable. And it, it could run on practically nothing. If you were careful enough, you could fly it on one engine. Well, I chose to be a engineer. The engineer has got to be in the cockpit with the pilot and the co-pilot. Because that's where every control is there that controls the airplane. All you did was turn around and go up in the turret. That was the closest, you're the closest man to the top turret. But uh, around a top turret, you're also supposed to be a good gunner. And in gunnery school, you start out shooting the BB gun. You shoot at ducks, just like they do in the carnivals. And then you just work your way into 50 caliber. Geary, Perry, Menkow, Hoffman, and Puckett met for the first time at a lonely airfield in Boise, Idaho. There, they became one of the first air crews assigned to the 570th Squadron of the 390th Bomb Group. Their plane, the B-17 bomber, was a cramped, claustrophobic cocoon enclosing 10 men. Their destination, England. Their mission, bomb the airfields and industrial centers of the Third Reich. 